When you call somebody strong, it's not simply clear cut like strength and speed or just physical strength or something. Naruto and ninjas in this universe, a character can be strong in different type of ways. Itachi, for example, is stated in manga that he has a mixture of ocular powers and all these different jutsus like the Zuzana, which I'm going to go over a lot in this video. That's what makes him really strong. Itachi was just talented. I mean, they said he was the most gifted student. His mentor said about him when he was young. They barely had to teach him anything at all. Truly gifted. In the books, he was so talented, they stated he had reached the highest levels in everything from ninja arts to fighting techniques, all of which had allowed him to rescue his team, surpassing that even of his joning supervisor. Basically, at the age of 8, before even going 10, he was already joning level at least one level below the Hikage rank. Let's get into it, though. Ah, does anybody remember the good old days when Naruto characters or Naruto or the main cast were young and just getting started? The good old days when Naruto, Sasuke, and them were at the bottom of the food chain when it comes to ninja, nowhere near being up there with the big dogs like this. The good old days when the Sage of Six Pass was a myth, not really realizing that there was entities above him. It's so funny when you see the ninjas developed over the years because there was a time where one could make an argument that you don't even need Jutsu and you could just straight up speed blitz a Sharingan user if you have enough speed, not knowing that these beings can too also get more balanced and learn physical abilities and make their physical abilities improve on top of their chakra enhanced energy projective type blast power type of techniques because back in these days Sasuke was too young to understand that just because you have some eyes that can help you predict his movements your body actually has to be fast enough to avoid them meaning that knowing what he's about to do is pointless because he can still get blitz Sasuke changing this flaw later on in the future after doing some training with Kakashi, Sasuke ended up using his Sharingan to his, his advantage, making his body physically stronger, but eventually using his Sharingan to actually become fast as well on top of having energy projection type stuff and on top of his eyes, the historical Sharingan, confirming he's as fast as Lee's average speed copying his taijutsu thanks to the sharing god be able to help but this is back in the early days where we thought oh man one character had to specialize in one thing either taijutsu either jutsu in general and just sit back and relax you start learning as the series goes on even if we don't see it happening on screen that a lot of ninjas in the naruto universe are physically just fast especially the adult ones we didn't see their training process so sometimes you can forget that they train off screen and they, get, they got their own speed their own way and stuff like a good example is a character like itachi uchiha somebody that lacks screen time but is definitely confirmed one of the top tiers in the earlier days because despite Sasuke getting all this new speed even as a kid he was not fast enough to get a hit on Itachi even though yeah it's, uh, Sasuke is really young here and he was nowhere near Itachi's level but let's analyze Itachi shall we since Itachi is an elite ninja in this universe he can do all the natural stuff like focus his inner energy into his feet standing on water Ninjas use their inner energy or spirit and body energy known as chakra to be able to do crazy techniques with enough training and hand signs and stuff. Itachi's no exception. He also gets extra perks other beings in this universe don't have. Perks that only Sharingan can give you. Like he's decently versatile enough to make shadow clones that explode. Yes, Itachi can do shadow clone jutsu basically. <laughs> Let me stop. There's implications that Itachi can do water style. Not to mention his speed is impressive to the point where you can't even see him use his hand signs. Hope you guys don't get tired of me bringing up his eyes in this video, but he can also do other jutsu like genjutsu, stuff that goes in your head. It's like an optical illusion, type of trickery, mind trick type stuff. Something a lot of other ninjas use in this universe as well. During a time where Sasuke finally does get his own Suzano, during one of his battles, one of the beings known as Danzo pretty much said it's nothing compared to Itachi's Tsukiyomi Genjutsu where he manipulated time within the dreamscape. Like, this is probably one of the most terrifying illusions or genjutsu where he creates a fake world for you just for you to get tortured the entire time. This is a technique he tortured Sasuke with. It became famous as the Tsukiyomi. This guy Itachi is the anime or Naruto version of Batman when it comes to prep time. This dude was under control in this zombified state to where he had to follow orders. He's not being controlled no more. He used a new Genjutsu against the enemy Jutsu. The Ido Tensei is undone. This Genjutsu orders me to protect Konoha because he had a crow that emerges in response to the Mangekoi Sharingan just in case implanted in the crow's eye. Thanks to prep with Shishui's Mangekoi Sharingan and all that good stuff, it restored his control. All because of Shishui's ocular powers. They're unique and they create a Genjutsu that allows you to control someone without them realizing. He programmed the Genjutsu to protect Konoha into Shishui's eye. I put the command in the crow's eye and then gave the crow to you, Naruto. I never realized, of course, that I'd be using it against myself someday. Like, this dude did a prep prep. Didn't even expect that it would have to be used against himself in the future. Got one of his eyes to protect Konoha. Yeah, 
a lot of deep stuff. Don't mess with his genjutsu or prep time. Just like other Uchiha, he can do fire style technique and thanks to his eyes, one can say Mangekoi Sharingan, this Ido Tensei Itachi does this fire style art of Phoenix flower, fire style like volley right here basically. He can do the most potent black flames, Amaterasu. The black flame is like an eternal flame that will not stop burning until the target is gone. The target in the eyesight. Amaterasu black flame will burn anything, even other fire. It's so hexy to have fire type stuff and then have water style stuff when he was using the Genjutsu of Izanami. He's one of those characters that be summoning crows. He seems to be a big fan of birds. That's his thing. He loves using crows because it actually conserves chakra, using them as a medium. I can't forget to mention that he can summon his own energy construct, Green Lantern type construct thingy like Suzano thanks to his eyes. The Suzano is the caster's guardian deity, stated to be heavenly eyes that see all things in the universe. This is literally the user's chakra taking physical form as a formidable looking warrior. As strong as Itachi is, later on in the series his brother does eventually surpass him because when it comes to the level of Sharingan he ends up getting, he ends up getting the Mangekoi level stage of Sharingan, but he never gets the eternal Mangekoi of Sharingan like his brother did. The big difference is that the eternal one doesn't have as much of a risk or stakes when it comes to spamming his abilities while this one does have stakes in spamming his abilities the mangekoi normal one not eternal one does continue use of the mangekoi sharingan without it being eternal takes a toll and don't be confused in this video when you see itachi looking a little different you got a zombified version of him that's still pretty powerful you got the live him still both a menace you know what i mean same techniques same speed similar stuff you know what i mean one might be wicked than the other, but you get the idea. He's went through his fair share of evolutions. But before I get into the blast power stuff, you know, before I start talking about the special perks he gets because of the shine gun, the black flames, and before I start talking about his fire blast power stuff, it's actually quite impressive considering that he's a shine gun user that has all these different ways to attack you that he has sword play ninja skills melee combat taijutsu skill still along with fighting speed and he's one of those characters i think we all could agree that he's a hokage level being you got one of the legendary signing like orochimaru a snake like ninja type being that's hard to kill because he has weird physiology has gotten his fair share of scuffles with tail beast level entities like the four tails for example and when you want to get an idea of the hierarchy orochimaru will just straight up say it, that itachi is stronger than himself one of the main reasons he left the Akatsuki organization, all these three ninja are strong in their own way, especially Jirai and Tsunade. So for Orochimaru to say this, you got to get an understanding of how strong Hitachi is. Meaning that if Hitachi was in a situation like this, he probably could do something similar to a tail beast. Of course, we're not going to really get on that much, but Kabuto Sage Mode, he trained under the White Snake Sage, awakening this ability to go into Sage Mode ability. I'm going to show Hitachi and Sasuke fighting it over and over again throughout this video and apparently surpassing Orochimaru, apparently. But you'll see as this video goes on. We can all agree that older Itachi is stronger than a younger Sasuke. Remember Sasuke, even in his early ninja days, can still do superhuman stuff with his just normal strikes. Like this giant bear, for example, that's almost about the size of his eye. He Sasuke can one hit him. Notice what an older Itachi does to Sasuke with his grip. So there's clearly a gap between the two. If Kid Sasuke can knock a giant bear and make it sleepy, I don't see no reason why Itachi's punches couldn't do that as well. So Itachi should have the super strength to launch a bear with his kick as well, or make him sleepy at least. Stuff like this would imply that his kicks would be strong enough to launch a house in the air if it was possible. <laughs> I don't think it's ever really specified how Itachi is this physically strong, but there's a lot of different methods on how you can get strong in Naruto. You can get stronger with resistance training like Rock Lee, for example, or you can choose to get stronger. Stronger. like how Tsunade gets stronger by being really good at focusing her energy or her chakra into her fist doing ninja techniques like this aka chakra manipulation you can basically mimic super strength he could be physically strong too because ninjas do train physically but I'm more leaning on the fence of his superhuman feats being because he has chakra manipulation because in the Itachi novel yes Itachi has a novel by the way just because you didn't know in the novel there was this boulder that was tossed in the air by the nine tails shattered near their house and the pieces danced Above their heads, one chunk was falling towards his mother's back. I mean, we don't see a visual, but they said the rock was enormous, large enough to crush the mother and her two children. They even talk about how the ninja art's physical strength isn't everything. He might have been a small child of five years old, body is just undeveloped, but as long as he managed to knead his chakra properly, he could smash even this enormous rock. So he was able to manipulate chakra in his arm, they call it blue flame, and blew up the rock with his striking power. Even a child could destroy boulders if they kept up with their ninja training. Being a youngin' and still can do this type of chakra manipulation is pretty good for his age. In the Naruto universe, there's a lot of different type of transformations or sage modes characters go through. 
It's basically this universe's version of Super Saiyan transformations for the ninjas. It enhances all your stats by using natural energy and all different type of things. Different sage modes have different properties. Kabuto sage mode makes him look like a literal snake being like Orochimaru kinda. It's another good example. In this Ido Tensei zombified state, he was able to cut one of Kabuto's horns off as you can see with a sword slice you can see him literally clash with a sage mode amplified entity and not just get pushed back with his blade like his ordinary hits without even counting chakra based stuff hits beams pretty hard and far even when sasuke gets stronger and faster physically when sasuke is older and has a better shine gun he's shown to be still be able to keep up when it comes to fighting speed and everything even physically thrown this far in this occasion some of these occasions he's even sick in this zombified form when he fights naruto basically becoming one of the nine-tailed fox's chakra to become a super being becomes golden like this becomes ridiculously fast and strong physically somehow itachi in this zombified state is miraculously somehow trading blows with him physically without even using energy projectors projection or anything naruto in this state his speed was complemented by being other members of the akatsuki it's clearly obvious that he can keep up with even an older sasuke when it comes to fighting speed so it's fighting speed is way past superhuman even i'm talking about moving faster than i can see type fast i mean we've seen these big shurikens coming at him he does the matrix type stuff and jumps in between them one lower and one above him he still jumps between it parries and blocks this big shuriken with his own kunai we've seen him get in the hand-to-hand -hand contest with kakashi himself with them two straight up punching and slug festing one can even go as far as say he blitzes kakashi using kunai and a blade seems to be a uchiha thing so of course itachi can use a blade if he needs it's easy to overlook occasions like this but the fact he didn't just get blitzed shows that the speed gap wasn't that big and itachi can keep up in his own right Naruto in this mode and Reikage had similar speed. One can say Naruto being a little bit faster. They're speeds to type characters. Why is this important? Because somebody having speed that's like teleportation basically. And on top of the fact the Reikage and Killer B do this tag team move called the Lariat, the double Lariat, they were a move they do together. In the data book, they say that while they're rushing at the opponent's neck, they're rushing at almost the speed of light, implying Killer B and Reikage can move at almost the speed of light and since naruto's a little bit faster that would mean naruto can too you guys gotta remember that reikage there was a point in sasuke's career where the reikage was actually too fast for sasuke obviously this is the past and this is no longer a factor because current sasuke is broken but i'm talking about the past sasuke had to resort to using black flames around his zuzano to even land a hit on the reikage because he couldn't track him with his eyes reikage is a being that can actually move out the way of eyesight like the black flames burns you on sight and he can still dodge it would this mean he could react at close to speed of light what do you guys think about that i want to hear your opinions on that remember that killer b is ridiculously fast there was a point when sasuke was getting blitzed by him speed wise not only is he fast enough to react and dodge attacks from chakra mode naruto that's a speedster basically in this universe but also killer b he can avoid attacks from even fast enough to quickly move behind b until b tries to counter he still reacts then does his own technique when it comes to fighting speed even if you don't want to believe the light speed stuff he has to bare minimum be at least lightning level fast when it comes to itachi because he's able to combat beings like kakashi when it comes to fighting speed and stuff data book even says that the speed of its lightning is its high speed because lightning seems to be kakashi's thing lightning style attacks that were really fast you don't see him nowhere in sight then suddenly he's in front absorbing the lightning blast intercepting it implying speed as well the fact that kakashi's this fast but look kakashi compliments itachi's speed so you know he has to be at least as fast or faster when it comes to lightning level stuff bare minimum right i would argue they're way faster than lightning based on other statements in the data book but this is a bare minimum it's a case like this that proves he's up there with kakashi in fighting speed yeah bare minimum lightning level fast i mean he may have the eyes of the uchiha the geke genkai of the sharingan but he definitely knows the basics and just the overall marksman as well even while young showing that he just doesn't slack off just because he has the Sharingan. You remember earlier how I brought up Orochimaru pretty much admitting that Itachi was above him? Somebody that's at least Jiraiya or Tsunade level in his own right, of course. You see in this occasion, for example, Orochimaru was surprised that his Jutsu can actually bind him, his illusion techniques known as Genjutsu, of course. Orochimaru even says, what strong eyes you have. There's no point in trying to do hand signs because your hand would just get blitzed off and cut off by Itachi. It's not until you see Itachi bring out the energy construct on a Suzano where you know he's taking you seriously. 
If you had your doubts about him being a tail beast centric level being, this is it for you. Like this is where you see his destructive power get crazy. One way you can look at it is that his durability in this state. It's hard to even harm him. It's, it functions as armor and something that can attack you. I mean, just like other users of the Susano in the universe, it obviously has different stages depending on how seriously he takes you or how much he needs defense or protection, blah, blah, blah. Or how destructive you are, he can protect himself while blasting you. Even in super weakened state, just using a random hand, he can punch big, thick holes in caves with his blunt fours. He's strong enough to stop multiple snake-like entities because of Kabuto being in sage mode, basically. Battling Kabuto, working together with Sasuke and his Ido Tensei zombified state, not his alive state. Them two working together, slinging him around. Sage mode Kabuto, basically a giant snake entity. His Susano shurikens can mess up a big part of the cave walls or roof. A good example of his might like this. In this instance, he wasn't even using Susano for defense. Sasuke literally transformed to the curse mark state. Other beings that have had the curse mark state that their power is 10 times what it was before, especially in the second state where you just change appearance completely. Fireballs by Sasuke like this is significantly more amplified than ever before. Matter of fact, he got nipped by fire blast this much. It seemed like he was okay afterwards. But the funny part is these blasts that he narrowly so avoided has so much raw power that it apparently changed the weather of the sky. He shot the jutsu in the sky to pretty much change the weather into like a thundercloud. Pretty much changed the weather into like a thundercloud. He shot his jutsu in the air, changing the atmosphere. Remember earlier how I talked about Orochimaru admitting that Itachi was above him? Well, you remember that curse mark that Sasuke had? Orochimaru gave him this curse mark and he used these this form against Itachi, amplifying himself while Itachi's still in his base state, not even using his Suzano or nothing. He was able to transform into this partially transformed state and even both of them doing fireball, Itachi still being able to clash with Sasuke in this point in time was getting overpowered when it comes to blast power. That's when he pulls out his trump card, the Amaterasu. That's when Itachi said enough of that, overpowered him here, even with an amp and Itachi doesn't have no amps. Matter of fact, Itachi's sick, ravaged by illness, so one can say he was nerfed and Sasuke was having this much trouble with him. But then when we talk about actually pulling out the Suzano, you know how I said Suzano has different stages depending on how much he wants to pull out, right? What if I told you his weakest version of a Suzano, the rib cage only, not counting this beefed up version, just the rib cage version. So y'all remember when Sasuke made his own thunderstorm basically, using lightning abilities, using the natural lightning in the area to just simply direct this energy at Itachi. I'm talking about a big lightning style construct dragon looking thing. Look how small Sasuke looks in comparison to all of this mess up here. Despite all of this, Itachi basically withstands mountain shattering type of force. No, I'm not exaggerating about it being mountain shattering. His very early stage of Susano was able to withstand mountain shattering force. His trump card, the Susano. So just think of it like this. If his skeletal baby version of the Susano can withstand mountain shattering attack, there's no way to calculate this, but how much could a fully amped up Itachi Susano withstand? Then that's when this big old super serpent crap came out of Sasuke, Orochimaru. I swear, if you hate Orochimaru, this is the video for you because this dude Itachi just keep on messing this dude up. Look at this big giant snake. Based on the surrounding area, I don't want to make no assumptions, but based on the surrounding area, it looks like this entity like this is the size of a very small building or a small mountain, it seems, compared to the Suzano. But despite the size difference, Suzano has a literal blade-shaped aspect on it, and Itachi Suzano chops it up. Multiple heads get chopped up. His plan was to take over Sasuke's body, but that didn't go too well. Itachi had other plans, stabs Orochimaru like that. And yep, we got another occasion of Itachi bullying Orochimaru. <laughs> you probably love that if you hate Orochimaru. Not to mention he has hacks and properties other than just raw power being able to cut physical stuff. This blade doesn't have no physical form. It's able to seal. It is said to trap and seal away those it pierces in a genjutsu world. The blade itself is imbued with sealing jutsu. Sealing all of this BS away in his own personal energy jar looking thingy. Yeah, you see him sealing it up. This full-blown Suzano is a tank. It already can take mountain splitting force. So what do you think all these different explosive Ashuri can gonna do? Absolutely nothing. Throwing more at it ain't gonna help Sasuke. Shielding from all of this. Literally stated repelling all of Sasuke's attacks. I look at it like this. This can level mountains. Skeletal states like this can level even more. They just keep getting higher. Suzano like this, one can make an argument. They could slice a couple mountains apart or more matter of fact in the future when sasuke finally gets his own suzano itachi was in the zombified ido tensei state sasuke 
got his attack reflected by his ribcage form to show even in newer stuff he's not just dead weight still you remember pain that got it had the renegon that guy that made that attack known as the planetary devastation something that usually is used to trap tail beast in itachi was one of the three beings that contributed it in messing up its formation pain did it here in this occasion too making a gravitational hold and suck up the land and we all know like eight tails can blast them apart mountains as well this also proves that itachi even without maxing out his Suzano can contribute to the force needed to blow apart mountains. Them three working together to hit the weak point to mess up this planetary devastation. Making a sizable explosion like that. Then true Suzano stabs him. Helping contributing to mess this up. I hopefully that proves to you that yeah he can blow away mountains. I mean one can even make an argument he can blow away a town if he felt like it. Because you remember what Payne did with planetary devastation. He blew away the entire leaf village. But yeah multiple mountains would tremble before Itachi. They would get deleted might I add. I mean, you got a case like this when his clone that was at 30% in the early series when he did a fireball technique, his blast destructive capacity was so wide that the smoke became taller than trees. Kind of gives you an idea of his blast power with his fire. When you look at Itachi, I think we all can agree that he's a pain-ish tier being. I mean, when Naruto was going berserk, it forced Naruto to at least go to eight tails level when he made this planetary devastation. The nine tails, for example, was able to kind of breach his way out, kind of. But in these cloaked forms, he can still hang in there with quite a bit. I would say the same goes for Itachi in certain cloaked states. I mean, when it comes to this Nine Tails power, we do know that Naruto and the Nine Tails get kind of cool and he can kind of use his chakra at will in a super powered, super golden mode. And we've seen Itachi without even spamming his Suzano kind of box it up with a golden nine tailed controlled powered naruto form he's not getting blitz and it's not one-sided and he's not spamming the suzano one can make an argument in his base state using normal other destructive elemental jutsu that he still would have the destructive capacity with normal blast and stuff like that to put holes in mountains or make big gases in them or something or one can say with chakra enhanced strength they imply in the books he might have but even if you don't believe he has chakra enhanced strength he can still level multiple mountains <laughs> depending on if he pulls out the suzano or not right right here is proof that he's a pain level being one could say hokage level being because when pain had killer b and naruto chakra mode in their clutches he was able to break the grip with his own suzano because of the raw strength of his suzano also and we're not about to ignore the fact that this planetary devastation pulls stuff up from the ground gravity style right all this debris they even talk about the gravitational pull. Then that's when they help the blast it apart working together. Without sugarcoating anything, let's just call it what it is. Pain is a being that can use gravitational power to lift up basically island worth of debris. Or one can say lift an entire island in the air, one can say. And we know Itachi via unknown methods or multiple different methods. He could either blast this with, with his flame and contribute one third the force needed to level one third of an island sized structure or something like that. One could say Itachi could just blast away an entire island if he needed to. Or one can simply say his Suzano punch or something can tremble the entire island or sink the entire island if need be. Or simply just use his Suzano to level the entire island with one shot like on some nuclear bomb type stuff one could say. What do you guys think? Do you think his Suzano could blast away something that can level an entire city or something that's as big as a city? Or bigger than multiple mountains honestly? Or a city's worth of debris being lifted in the air? Amount of debris he can destroy one could say? Do you think he can destroy stuff like this with his blast power? Heck he might not even need a Suzano. He could blast stuff away like this with just water style or some crap. But yeah it's really up in the air. Itachi's already one of the mightiest before we start introducing Kage level beings and stuff like that right imagine if he had a perfect suzano we'd probably see him do something like slice islands in half or maybe a small country in half or something if he had this can you imagine if he ended up getting six paths chakra energy straight from the sage of six paths can you imagine if itachi got that he'd be slicing up moons and crap but all of this madness could be just me do you respect itachi isn't it crazy that he was a jonin level before he even reached the age of 10 but what do you guys think do you respect him i want to hear what you guys think but before i get going Thanks for the donations, everybody. Helps out a lot. Respect Itachi. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.